Amidst the infinite darkness, a century of discovery and awe, the International Space Station, humanity's most audacious experiment today, hangs precariously between triumph and disaster. What began as a landmark mission has devolved into the decade's most extraordinary space drama. Astronauts Barry Wilmore and Sunita Williams find themselves trapped in a celestial limbo. Their eight-day trip turned into a 10-month ordeal that exposes the fragility of human space exploration. We're working out, we're running on the treadmill, we're riding on the bicycle, or we're, and we're lifting weights. Um, I'm eating quite a bit. <laughs> I, at home, maybe I eat breakfast, and then I eat dinner, and I sort of skip lunch, which is not a good habit, by the way. But up here, I feel like I'm super hungry, and I want to eat those three meals a day, and then sometimes even a little bit of a snack. It's true, we have much to be thankful for. On a professional sense, I mean, there's not many places that you can be that you can actually lay on the ceiling. And this is one of them. We're thankful for zero gravity. It's fantastic. Uh, and of course, in a personal sense, our family, our friends, those that are lifting up prayers for us and have been. Boeing Starliner, intended to be a technological marvel, has become a cautionary tale of engineering failure. Propulsion system leaks and thruster malfunctions have transformed a routine mission into a high-stakes survival scenario. NASA's decision to abandon the spacecraft and opt for its rival Elon Musk's SpaceX speaks volumes about the mission's critical condition. NASA has decided that Butch and Sonny will return with Crew-9 next February uh, and that Starliner uh, will return uncrewed. But the February deadline was again pushed to late March. The agency now pins its hopes on SpaceX's Crew Dragon. The fiasco cuts deep, raising fundamental questions about NASA's capacity to manage complex space missions. The International Space Station itself is showing alarming signs of deterioration. Problematic leaks in the Russian segment have created a blame game between American and Russian space agencies. Cracks, wear and tear and structural vulnerabilities threaten this $150 billion technological marvel as its 2030 expiry date nears. However, there are more players in our planet's higher orbit. China's space station is called Tiangong, which translates to Sky Palace, is up there. It can accommodate up to six crew members. It is over one-third the size of the International Space Station and is under expansion. India, which is rapidly emerging as a major space power, will have its own space station by 2035, which will be known as Bharatiya Antrik Station. <laughs> 